And that's it, because the battery died, but not on Super Sunday. The batteries never go out here. Who's Anyways, that? um, Jeff Boy via the Project Pat back in our usual studio. Added a little bit of a little artwork recently. Uh, as you can see, nice picture behind Chef Boyer V. And uh, also, we found a new uh, brand that we haven't reviewed yet, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is called the Cantina Margarita Hard Seltzer. Mm -hmm. This is by Canteen Spirits. Um, they are, they're known. Mm. They're out of Austin. They've been, they had more of the cocktail vodka sodas in the can. And they're stepping into the margarita style hard seltzer. You only got three flavors. Three. Uh, we got the original strawberry and mango what's the original looks like it's just original hard seltzer probably going to be more of a like original margarita original, flavored i think so okay sounds good to me all right um simple flavors because simple cells you heard it here first ladies and gentlemen all right time to dive in on these all natural 100 percent uh sweetened blue agave seltzers they are six percent so they might give you a little more kick in the pants just in time for this holiday weekend but we'll find out for you. Stay tuned. In session. Seltzer Sunday. Chef Barbie on the project. Pat back in the studio, back in the lab with this cantina. Margarita mm. hard seltzer, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, 6% alcohol by volume. Six. One gram of sugar and one net carb. Sugar. Uh, perfect for the summer seltzer. Hope it's going well for you. Um, recovered from summer slam. Shout out to CrossFit Iron Horse for hosting a great event. Thank you. Okay, this first flavor is called the original. Again, this is Cantina Margarita Style Hard Seltzer. Mm-hmm, look That's at that. Cool. Look at that can right there. I like the artwork, everybody. I don't know yeah. about you, Chef Larvie. What do you think? I like the cacti, or cactus, if you will. I was just preferring the plural term. That's right, and it maybe shows the agave plant. So mm. pour it up. Pour oh, it up. A little bubbly, not too much. Uh, Which is expected. Yeah, it's mostly clear. Mmm. Yeah, Just test it out. Smells decent. No hint of vinegar. All right, Chef Barbie, talk us through the taste. Well, I'm glad we chilled the cans because yeah. cold is key, ladies and gentlemen. And we definitely learned that at uh, buying seltzers from a bar, which was the first time I think we've done that right. uh, recently. And they kept them nice and cold, and I, they just gave a little bit of extra effect. Mm -hmm. Now, what I like is that, you know, when you're having above 5%, you're expecting probably a really stout taste. That's not the case with this one. For it being 6%, it's yeah. not bad. Taste-wise, I'm gonna go with just a 6.9 other Project Pat. There's nothing really special about it. It's just right there. Yep. Almost makes the cut. Aftertaste. Now, also with things being stronger in alcohol, you think there's gonna be more calories, a little bit more sugar which can tend to leave you with this sappy, syrupy aftertaste. The seltzer water in this exactly what we like in a seltzer, since mm -hmm. it's extra cantina. Um, it actually cleanses the palate. So 7.3, you're going to bump it up. 7.3, yes indeed. Solid selection. Another project, Pat. Quantity. Quantity, 6% um, can be filling. Margaritas can be filling um, in general. Uh, not sure about y'all. You, you know, sometimes only one or two at some place, some certain places around the, uh, the, the, the cities. Uh, yeah, Any more, more, you risk bubble gut. That's right. Or just pure blackout. <laughs> Six eight. Prison. Six eight. Solid choice. Other project, Pat. That's going to give us a seven point oh on the dot. Right. Makes the cut by just a hair. Just a hair. Um, you know, we. This is a newer brand. This is newer style by them. Uh, but I think they're on the right right uh, start. All right. Let's go to the second one. All right. On Let's go. Two. All right. Other project, Pat. It's that time again. It's time to do jokes. So once again, the fans have sent us some jokes that they'd like us to read. And it's our d duty to determine if they are weak or neat. All right. First one we've got from Donald from Oak Harbor, Washington. All right. Washington State, P&W? I suppose so. I, okay. I've never heard of Oak Harbor once again. I don't know my geography. All right. Dear Seltzer Boys, I got in a fight with 1, 3, 7, and 9. The odds were against me. Oh, <laughs> Oh, nice one, Donald. <laughs> oh, man. Creative. What do you think of the project, Pat? That's pretty neat. Neat? All right. All right. We got one neat. Didn't we have three neats last time? We did. By golly. All right. All right. Next one is from Farage from Kodiak, Alaska. All the way up there. Wow. Right. 
I wonder what their summers are like in Alaska. Not much more than 85. Oh, must be nice. Dear Seltzer Boys, I hate babushka dolls. They're always full of themselves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, those are the ones that were there, like, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, cool, uh, nice, okay, they always fool themselves. What do you think? That's pretty neat. That's neat. All right, two neats. All right, got time for one more, one more. All right, this one is from Kimberly from Aurora, Colorado. All right, a suburb of Denver. I yeah, I, I believe. All right, nice. All right, dear Seltzer Boys, what trains are gingers not allowed to ride? Ooh. The Soul Train. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it says here in uh, parentheses, I am a ginger. So, all right. Well, all right. That, that, all right. I don't uh, know why. That kind of makes kind of funny, even more funny now, Kimberly. All right. Uh, I'm going to say neat. 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 You know, make it. All right. Way to go. Anyway, thanks for uh, sending us your jokes. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And let's continue on with the show to the final flavor. Final flavor, y'all. Let's go. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey ho. All right. Here we are. Final flavor. Self Sunday with Cantina. Marvia Stahlhard, Seltz, ladies and gentlemen. Again, other Project Pat's Chef Boy RV. And we got this nice Megalodon tooth. Compliments of her geologist. Ha uh, ha! All right. Uh, you guys rock. That's right. Be nice to them, y'all. Don't take them for granted. <laughs> all right. Cantina Mar Mar Marguerite Style. This is the mango flavor, ladies and gentlemen. Chef mm. Marvie has this nice, nicely displayed for y'all. Meh, she meh. Still good artwork. Um, kind of yep. like the classic Western theme. And classic desert theme. And the last mango we had was the American Mule, the Mango Mule. We gave that a 6.6 .6 of the Project Pat. Okay, so we got something to build on. Mm -hmm. um, really, what you look for in mango is it doesn't taste like TV static or century. I Agreed. You don't want any if, of that. If you get that, it'll probably be over six. Every once in a while, you get it, you get it in the sevens, and every once in a while, there's a couple on record that are nays. But generally, mm -hmm. they've been, we've been between six and seven on these in a while, I'd say. So let's see how this favors. All right. Or how this flavors. Ha 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 Okay. Okay. Um, Very light on the uh, mango taste. Yeah. I mean, I was expecting a tartness like the strawberry, like a bleh. Definitely tastes more like biting into mango than others we've mm -hmm. had. Um, it is... Not quite the best. No, it, yeah, it will be the best it's, tasting one, I think, yeah. overall. But not by much, right? Not by much at all. I'm going to say a 7-1 for the taste of the Project Pat. Now, when I'm thinking about the aftertaste, I, the mango flavors, it's a rich flavor, so it kind of mm -hmm. lingers on the tongue. Okay. Uh, not feeling the cleansing of the seltzer like the, mm. like the original. Uh, just a little bit below at a 7. 7? All right. 7 on the dot. Now, quantity, Pat, I th other Project Pat, I think we're stumbling upon, once again, the filling effect. Yep. Any margarita flavor is going to fill you up. But, you know, I feel like when it comes to these, I'm probably going to have the most of this one. Okay. Yeah. Out of the out of the pack. Yeah. What do, what do you think of the Project Pat? Six, nine. Not Six, by nine. much. All right. Fair. By George, that's a 7.0 again. Hey, that Time happens with the sometimes, but we got to think about the three three ways to grade these things. Taste, mm -hmm. aftertaste, quantity. Sometimes mm -hmm. they all function independently. Sometimes they all trend together. That's and just the how? science of Seltzer Sunday. Well said. Well, you know what? I think it's about that time, Pat. It I is think that time, it is mate. Outro time! All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is Seltzer Sunday, Chef for the other project. <laughs> Uh, today we reviewed the Cantina Margarita Style Hard Seltzers by Canteen Spirits. They're out of Austin, Texas. They've been around the block for a little bit. They had a more of a vodka style uh, cocktail in a can. And we're going to get back to those at some point, Chef Barbie. Mm -hmm. As we are expanding our, our flavors and our rankings, we're going way more to sampling than seltzering. Uh, and that's just part of evolving as a, as a podcast and a group uh, to make sure that we get all the types of uh, drinks that maybe aren't a beer or a wine. Maybe they're on the seltzer side. Maybe it's a cocktail in a can. Or they're an RTD. They say the ready to drink is another one, another uh, popular thing coming out here. Man, she man. Anyways, uh, we had a tie today. Uh, mm -hmm. The original and the mango with sevens. Um, you know, seven is usually our average. Um, there's things that are better than seven, but definitely put these in your cooler. Um, if I would, to, if you had to say, uh, you know, chug one or do, you know, 50 burpees, I would uh, probably chug the, uh, uh. yeah, chug the original out of yeah. all if I had to pick one out of the two. 
Uh, I, I do my best to avoid burpees, other Project Pat. That's right, Chef RV. Uh, I think the limeier flavor always wins. So, you know, it, it's a toss up, but, but you heard us. There's three ways we grade these things. Again, taste, aftertaste, and quantity. Um, if you follow the rankings, and we'll be, be sure to describe a little bit better in the write, this write up, but we, we have things bring us to sevens in different ways. And with that being said, it is that time of the show, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time that we call outro time, aka we're going to do this thing that other Project Pat and I do, where we take all three flavors and we create a concoction that we call the Suicide Seltzer. So to, to, so to determine who's going to have this drink, we are going to play a little game of rock, paper, scissors. We're going to go one, two, three, and shoot. And then the loser then has to take the Suicide Seltzer. So without further ado, let's do the thing. One, two, three, shoot! Dang! <laughs> do do do. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm other Project Pat, Chef 4 um, Hey, you tune in every weekend. We got the best hits, the best takes, and we got the hottest reviews out there in the market. We got the internet going nuts, just like Paul Wall did in 2004. How was it? Oh, I've had better. All right, what do you guys say? Oh, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs>